Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am super excited for this video today because we will be transforming this teal nightstand. So my mom had bought me one of these nightstands whenever I lived in one of my apartments in college and I absolutely loved it. It matched my decor back then. Um, I was in a teal beach theme, but since then I have transformed to the modern farmhouse and this just did not match anything in my house. So I knew it was time for a change and Instead of spending the money and buying new, I decided to budget and I saw potential in these nightstands so I thought why not do a DIY. So the first thing I did was completely take these nightstands apart because there are a lot of nooks and crannies in these so I wanted to make sure that I could get the paint in all of those hard to reach spots so the easiest way to do that was to take this nightstand apart. It looks more difficult than it actually was. Really, there's just a bunch of screws to take out, um, but I made sure to put the screws, the hinges, and everything else into separate baggies to keep myself organized. I'll have that here in a second, but that is the easiest way to keep yourself organized is to put the screws from each side into a baggie and make sure to label it so you don't lose anything and you know exactly where it goes when you want to put it together. I knew we would have to sand the nightstands down pretty good because they were teal so I started off with this sanding block with 80 grit sandpaper and as you can see it was a really difficult and time consuming process with this um, block. So I did the best that I could and I kept asking for Austin's opinion and eventually he just took over with it and he realized how difficult it was and we kept saying man if only we had a sander this would be much easier and we kept talking about it kept talking about it about half an hour went by we kept struggling with this shelf and as you can see he got pretty far with it but it was very very difficult so it was actually at this time I was hand sanding the sides because we had gotten frustrated with the shelf that we were talking about Austin just go get an orbital sander so right then he left he went to the store and he grabbed a sander and thank goodness because it was life-changing so I kept hand sanding just so I didn't waste any time but that wasn't difficult to do on the nightstand part because I just needed to rough it up and when he got back he used the orbital sander on the top and the shelf to get all the way down to the wood on the sides we didn't need to get down all the way to the wood because I was gonna paint over it with chalk paint so just the top and the shelf to use the 80 grit sandpaper with the orbital sander to get all the way down to the wood so that we could stain it and then the rest of it was going to be painted white. We decided to do this project on a really nice day so we let the fur babies come out with us and I tied them out in the yard and they were enjoying the sun. They can't stay away from us for more than 10 seconds at a time anyway because they whine like crazy. So this was a pretty good day and Austin was able to stand in the garage with the garage door open so that was nice. Once Austin got the shelf sanded, I went ahead and stained it. So I am using a dark chestnut stain and I just took a paper towel, dipped it in the stain and used circular movements on the board just to make sure it coated evenly. And I usually use a rag, but I didn't have one on hand. The paper towel seemed to work just fine though. And I put two coats of stain on the top and on the shelf just to give it that darker finished look. of the nightstand I am going to use this Kills white chalk paint. Typically I use Rust-Oleum but ever since the COVID-19 hit even paint has been slim pickings. So this is what I got from the Walmart pickup and it worked out just fine. So I'm using a mini roller to get the paint on there and I later on you'll see that I use a two inch angled brush to get the little spots but 
The mini roller on the bigger spots really helps it coats evenly and it makes time go by a lot faster and using a mini roller avoids any paintbrush lines so this really helped make the paint go on evenly and it did take about three coats so um, they were pretty thick coats so I just went ahead and painted everything. I probably needed to let it dry about I want to say anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes between each coat so it really wasn't too long of a wait period for those to dry in between coats and it went on pretty smoothly so it was actually a pretty easy process just a little bit time consuming because I had to put on so many coats but luckily I sanded with the 80 grit or else I probably would have had to put on at least two or three more coats if I hadn't sanded because I could have used primer but I didn't know how primer would work with chalk paint. I've never done that before so I didn't want to take a chance. If I had used primer I probably would have needed less coats but otherwise everything turned out really good so I went ahead and added three coats of paint and then I did touch-ups with the two inch angled brush and made sure to get into all those little tiny spaces and nooks and crannies with that brush too. Okay, I just got done adding the finishing touches. Um, they turned out really, really good. Um, the chalk paint didn't leave any lines like I was afraid it would. I think it helped that I sanded with a finer sandpaper. Instead of using 120 like I usually do, I used 80 just to really rough it up. So this turned out really nice, really white. Um, and they're all touched up so I'm gonna let those dry for a little while and then over here I have here is the top um, stained I need to touch up here a little bit and here is the shelf it's kind of hard to see in this light but I'll get you some better <laughs> views here in a little while but this is after three coats of paint of the white on the nightstand part and then two coats of stain on the top and then the shelf that goes in the middle so I'm gonna let those dry and then I'll get those put together I was really tired after doing all of that painting so I just let everything sit overnight and then the next day we got up pretty early and we went ahead and put everything together so Austin helped me put the nightstand back together, which was a simple process because I had everything organized into the baggies, so we were able to find everything easily. And then once we got it put together, I noticed there were quite a few touch-ups that still needed to be done. Um, it's a lot different in the daylight versus the garage light, so the daylight provided a lot more perspective into what I needed to touch up. So. If you are doing a DIY on any furniture, make sure you take lighting into consideration. 
I suggest doing everything in the daylight. So if you can do it in the garage or by a window, that is hands down the best lighting you can do any paint project in because it will show everything versus the dim garage lighting. I thought it looked perfect the night before. I thought we were totally done painting and then the next day I saw a million touch-ups that needed done. So whenever you do your DIY, really make sure you take into account what kind of lighting you have and take advantage of the sunlight. Again, like I said, once it was all put together, I got a new perspective in the daylight, so I basically added another coat of paint to this once it was all put together. While Austin was using the orbital sander on the top and the shelf, I decided to just go ahead and hand sand the rest of the nightstand. Like I said before, it really wasn't that time consuming. All I had to do was rough it up and then Austin using the orbital sander actually took quite a bit of time. I would say it took him anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes to get those completely sanded down, 15 to 20 minutes each. So that took a lot more time than it did for me to rough up the rest of the nightstand. So I used 80 grit and sandpaper and so did he. I did the same process as with the first nightstand. I added about three coats of the white chalk paint to the teal part after I sanded it. Is this a fun project? No. Is it going to be worth it? Yeah. You're having a blast, aren't you? No. <laughs> Do you love it when I rope you into my projects? Oh, I just love it so much. You're a trooper. I <laughs> I did the exact same process with the second nightstand as I did with the first, so I added three coats of white paint to the teal part, and Austin had completely sanded down the top and the shelf, so we added two coats of stain to that. I added three coats to one of the shelves, and I decided that was too dark, so whenever you're using dark chestnut, just keep in mind it gets really, really dark after the second coat. So. To me, two coats was enough, and that's what it looks like here. nightstand dry for probably two hours before deciding to put it together. We made sure that it didn't scratch up or anything like that and then once we got it put back together I noticed that I still had some touch-ups to do but since I painted this entire second nightstand in the daylight there were not as many touch-ups so definitely I learned that lighting makes a huge difference and this second nightstand went by much faster. And here's the finished product with the glass put back in the door. It is absolutely gorgeous and it was honestly better than my expectations and it was Austin's idea to stain the shelf. I planned on doing it white but I think the accent of the stained shelf is a great idea so he did awesome deciding that. Then after I got them both inside it was time for decoration which is my favorite thing to do. So. I got new lamps at Target. I will have those linked below. I also made an IGTV of the items I got from Target. If you want to check that out, I will also link that too. And these lamps I actually had my eye on for a while, so I was super excited. So I just organized everything back into our nightstands, like our books, um, my Bible studies and pins I usually keep in 
a little basket so I keep those in my nightstand and then I got to put my new Target lamp up which was really exciting. I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. decorations on the nightstands are ones that I already had on hand. Some of them are from the kitchen, from the living room, from the guest bedroom. They kind of came from all over. And the Echo Shows we use as our alarm clock. I absolutely love them because I can wake up in the morning and just say, hey Alexa, what's the weather today? And she'll tell me. Or I'll say, hey Alexa, set my alarm for 8 a.m. And she does it and it's perfect. So I absolutely love having those and we use them constantly. So I was very happy with the turnout. I mean, just look at how amazing these nightstands are. Here in a second, I'm going to show you a before and after and it is just a total transformation. I am totally amazed. So happy with how these turned out. Here's a better look. So each nightstand I used the white chalk paint on and then the stain on the top and then I sealed it with polyurethane. The lamps are from Target and then the other decorations I just had on hand and then I do have those Amazon Echo shows that um, are really useful. We use them every single day to set our alarms, to check the weather, anything. So I'm going to have all of this stuff linked below so that you can easily grab it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all of my fun projects that I have coming up, including a DIY letterboard wall and also this wall behind me. I will be Sharpie ship lapping, which is super exciting because that's going to open up the room so much. So if you head on over to my Instagram and you follow me there, I pretty much post hourly updates on all of my projects so you guys don't miss out and then you can learn from what I do. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my page. You can also find me on Facebook. I will have everything linked below, including all of my blog posts with my projects. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.